Um, I'm Maya Rudolph, and I lend my uh, voice to Daniela, Luca's mom. Um, she's a tough but loving mother who wants nothing uh, but to protect her son from the terrors of the outside world and wants to keep him safe. I'm Jim Gaffigan. I play Lorenzo, uh, Luca's father. He's uh, a well-intended, slightly distracted uh, parenting partner of uh, Daniela, played by Maya. And uh, yeah, and he's he's you know kind of uh similar to me he's kind of uh the parenting thing he's trying his best but you know probably failing along the way um luca is a very um sweet and uh um sort of reminder of childhood um friendship and um, summertime, the romantic notion of summer, and um, um, you know, if your if your childhood took place on the Italian Riviera, then this is what your childhood looked like, um, and very much about finding your people, and finding accepting your and and, and finding acceptance within yourself, and also finding people that really get you. Well, I think the struggle that Lucas' parents encounter is pretty universal for all parents. You want to find that balance between um, protecting your child and also letting them find their own path. It's hard, you know. You want to, you want so badly to protect your child, and it's not necessarily because you don't trust your child, which is the hard message to relay. But it's more, at least in my experience, it's more about what you, what you want to protect your children from. You know, it's not so much that I don't trust them; it's that I the world can be a tough place, so you want your child to be protected from all those pains which we all know are growing pains and are important for people to go through. But at the same time, watching someone you love so deeply suffer through anything is really hard. I hope people take away um, a sense of um, that uh, nostalgic feeling for summer and the freedom of summer fun and friendship and that discovery of when you find those friends for life um, uh, that you can always tap into, you know, that you can probably remember for the rest of your life. Um, I, I want uh, people to, to feel that joy that I think we all feel as adults um, but when we remember what it's like to be a kid in summertime. Um, uh, I, uh, I, I'm going to act like I remember the question. I think that the movie really captures that um, that that kind of pre-teen life when you're starting to figure things out and figuring out who you are and where you fit, and also managing those fears that um, hold you back from your journey so in other words um you you know there's something about in this movie the the notion that if people find out who what i'm really like they will kill me is uh really kind of an example of like when you're a kid and you're figuring out and dealing with the fear of who you are and being okay that some people might not like it but the most important thing is that you like yourself. Um, working with Enrico was uh, really exciting because there was uh, an enthusiasm that was tied to this project that was obviously very personal 
but also generous. He he wrote uh, the script, but was more interested in what I felt capturing the the tone of a character and the relationship of the character. So it was not just you you weren't facilitating uh, just jokes you were kind of kind of communicating um his vision which was exciting yeah working with enrico um felt very um felt very exciting in that we were bringing his vision to life um which was i thought so beautifully um told in this story but also i just felt like I don't know. I could listen to him talk for for hours, right? Yeah. I mean, like he's yeah. he's a very soothing voice, um, and very he's very joyful. And I think, especially in the midst of recording something so far away from each other in the middle of a pandemic, um, and creating something that was that had this joy in it, he was really, truly, um, very much the the captain of that, and um, it was very infectious. He's um, He's really, he's, he's really fun. He's a really fun leader. Um, so I'd, that was a, that was a nice part. And then going into it, knowing his work, you know, um, my family um, loved his, uh, his Pixar short, La Luna. And, um, you know, I just felt like I was part, I was going to be part of something that um, was so uh, creatively exciting. And um so I just felt like I was in such good hands that you're sort of just, you just show up like, yeah, what do you, what do you need from me? I think, well, to me, Alberto is that friend that really takes Luca out of his shell. Um, and Alberto is also that friend that, um, even though Luca and Alberto will probably have dramatically different uh, adult lives, they will re retain that, um, that bond that really facilitated the person that Luca will be. I'm a Luca. I'm a Luca. I think... Uh... I think um, I would definitely not be building Vespas out of uh, on on my own and riding them down hills. It would take an Alberto to get me to do that for sure. Yeah, I'm a Luca. Yeah, I w I'd like to think that I'm an Alberto, but I think I'm much more of a Luca. Like even everything that I've done in my life, there's uh, I'm a little bit of a scaredy cat. So I need someone to push me along or uh, the, I need the, the gentle path into, you know, I'm not somebody who dives in. I kind of go into the shallow end and walk in. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Head to sarahscoop.com for more of the scoop on your favorite things.